Dale Little here with Rescue American Ministries. And uh, I'm in uh, Chesnadee, Romania, Chesnadea. And uh, yeah, guitar sounds sound sour right there. <clears throat> but I'm heading, headed up to um, an area back behind the newest um, Finding Hope uh, Children's Home, uh, where Nathan and Uncle Merle are at. Uh, pretty much up above there, and uh, then uh, I want to get up on the hillside where there's a few apple orchards and also some grazing land up in there. Um, and uh, so, as uh, usual, I'm not looking for it, but it seems like I'm, you know, look to see what kind of trouble I can get in today this time. <laughs> and I did a preview on this, you know. You know, we've got uh, plenty of mountains around, and uh, of course we had mountains back in North Carolina, and one was, uh, at least used to be pretty famous, still is, you can find it on your, uh, your Facebook, YouTube, and videos about it. <clears throat> Way out on old Lindor Mountain, where the bear and the catamount range. There a strange ghostly light can be seen every night Which no scientist or hunter can explain High on the mountain, down in the valley below It shines like the crown of an angel And fades as the mist come and go Way over yonder, night after night until dawn, a faithful old slave comes back from the grave. He's searching, searching, searching for his master who's long, long gone. In the days of the old covered wagon, when they camped on the flats for the night With the stars growing dim o'er the old high court rim They would watch for that brown mountain light High on the mountain Down in the valley below it shines like the crown of an angel And fades as a mist come and go Way over yonder Night after night until dawn A faithful old slave Comes back from the grave He's searching, searching, searching for his master who's long, long gone. And I'm searching for the right road to go up that uh, hill right now. <laughs> long years ago, a southern planter came hunting in this wild land alone. And here, so they say, the hunter lost his way. And never return to his home His crusty old slave brought a lantern And searched out in vain day and night Now the slave is gone But his spirit wanders on And the old lantern still casts its light High on the mountain, down in the valley below, it shines like the crown of an angel and fades as the mist come and go. Way over yonder, night after night until dawn. Faithful old slave Come back from the grave Searching, searching, searching
are his master who's long, long. Okay, I'll find, pick a, pick a road, there's about three or four roads up through there, <clears throat> uh, if you want to call them that, uh, I'll find one here shortly, but a little senior in the meantime, and while we're talking about mountains or singing about mountains, let's just go with this one. God walks the dark hills, ways and the highways. He walks on the billows of life's troubled sea. He walks in the cold, dark night, the shadows of midnight. God walks the dark hills just to guide you and me. God walks the dark hills. Just to guide my footsteps He walks everywhere By night and by day He walks in the silence On down the highway God walks the dark hills Just show me the way God walks in the storm, the rain, or the sunshine. He walks on the billows, or through glimmering light. Helps me walk up the mountain so high, cross rivers through valleys. God walks the dark hills, cause he loves you. And me. God walks the dark hills just to guide my footsteps. He walks everywhere by night and by day. He walks in the silence on down the highway. God walks dark hills just to show me the way okay I've made my choice here I've uh, picked this one I've been up it before um, up toward the trees are at the head um, it levels out a little bit. Uh, looks like it used to be a foundation up there, maybe, uh, or at least a uh, pad of some kind, maybe a road <clears throat> paved. I don't know. Um, anyway, some concrete up there <laughs> uh, on the ground. And so I decided to go up because the other ways didn't look that good. <clears throat> but this is not where I want to get to, so I'm going to have to go up and then go over to the right. Um, when I get above the tree line there, find a place to cut across. <clears throat> and here we are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, here I'm out of breath. Um, but uh, <clears throat> there's some um, pavement uh, up here by itself on this hill. Um, <clears throat> not sure what it was. Uh, but. Uh, Anyway, right, it's a good stopping point to get a, a breather for a little bit. And I'm looking out now to my right. And, and there you see Justin Dia uh, down where I just came from and, and the distance there. And I wanted to get up and get a better look. Now, <clears throat> I've been kind of working my way slowly to the top. I could have done it all in one day if I just planned and um, set my mind to it and got up there. And I said, okay, I'm going to the top today and left myself enough time to do it. But um, I usually just took it a little bit of time and explored a little bit uh, gradually. And then um, <clears throat> next time I'll hopefully make it up the top. And I think once I get up there, I'll be able to see what I'm looking at now, uh, maybe even better. But 
uh, Chesson to Dia, and I think on the other side, that's looking back up the hill. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be able to see uh, Cebu. I don't know that, but I think I will. Let's go over there. And as I go along here, as oftentimes the case, it gets progressively worse. Okay, I um, was going to leave, uh, I was doing some talking out through here, but I'll go ahead and uh, do a voiceover. Um, as I get on out through here, I begin to run into water um, in the uh, uh, right, side, right there was a little bit on the left and um, <clears throat> began to get worse a little bit later on. I was fortunately able to stay in the middle um, and didn't get off into the ruts there, but uh, made out to the other road, which, which was pretty muddy. And ended up uh, having to get off and push the bike part way up it because it was uh, so steep and rough and muddy. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do this old song uh, to um, just kind of keep some of these old songs alive. Um, got a real message in them. <clears throat> Called the Great In the Great Beyond. Death began to form a line to cross the river when Abel died from his own brother's hand. Now the stream of mortal souls Has swelled old Jordan Passing on there in judgment to stand In the great beyond Over in the land of Eden I'll meet with friends Who left this world so long ago what a hallelujah morning When we gather over there We will praise our blessed Lord Forevermore I have stood by a friend While they were dying The hand of death would leave them old so cold and still Oft I wondered what they saw While they were crossing Who they met At the top of the hill In the great beyond Over in the land of Eden I'll meet with friends left this world so long ago what a hallelujah morning when we gather over there oh, yeah. we will praise our blessed lord forevermore and i'm so glad that way was made at calvary when Jesus died, lay to rest in the tomb. In the grave he slept a while, then overpowered it. Praise his name that he lives evermore. In the great beyond, over in I'll meet with friends who left this world so long ago. What a hallelujah morning when we gather over there. We will praise our blessed Lord forevermore. Well, yeah, and there it is, church at Chester and Diara. Uh, in the distance, uh, you probably can't make it out. On the video, I'm looking straight at it. It's one of these lower peaks there. Uh, 
And of course, come on down. Sports complex down along there somewhere. It's hard to pick out right now. All oh, the apartments over here on this side in the way. But I know generally where it's at. So to come in. And then, there's just Nadia. Uh, wow. Oh yeah, getting up here now. And uh, again, you'll probably not be able to see this. Way in the distance is a house or maybe another fortified church sitting top of the mountain over there. And we'll start over here at the church at uh, just in the R, right? Okay. And that's it right there, the small mountain. It's focused in pretty. That's magnified or, or zoomed in as far as I can get it. Uh, now we're getting into just the Dia. And a sports complex somewhere along in there. Um, can't really make it out with all the buildings, apartments. Uh, I know it's just on the other side. Uh, tower over there. Um, communications tower. Um, And there's the fortified church again. And now the um, cemetery and the um, Orthodox church is on the left now of the uh, fortified church. Oh, I got a low battery. Uh, just a little bit, so. I take it easy and get back down just to cross through this grass or I may ride down beside that road somehow. Well, I'd rather <clears throat> I may go to my right and uh, maybe go down through the grass there and hopefully get around all that water I got into over there. I didn't really get in it that much, but a lot of it there. Okay, so this is Chestnut Dia from the best viewpoint I got so far. One of these days, I will make it on up to the peak, maybe up near that uh, tower uh, there. And uh, I probably can see Cebu from there and, and Chestnut Dia on this side. <laughs> But with this tall grass, I just don't know what the ground is like underneath it. Mm -mm. I mean, there may be a big gully there and the, the grass is going up level and you can't see it. Ooh, that's muddy. Muddy, muddy. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'd always get into this mess. Oh well. Let me get me a point right here and start on down. Very carefully. There's sheepfold. Shepherd's little cottage. All right. Here goes. Trying to spot my where I came up at. There's a house, a house out there. So I think about down this way. 
that heaviest looking bunch of trees there. One of them. Ooh, a huge inch hill. Hmm. Oh no. I put my foot in it. Oh, hmm. Thing's almost two feet tall. Maybe I won't hit any of those on the way down. Yeah. I picked my way through here somehow. Keep moving. Ooh, another big ant hill. Almost got it. Oh, Christ. Trying to pull my feet off the pedals. Uh -oh. Well, I found that deep gully I was concerned about. <sighs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave my shoe. Hop. Problem might be right there's the road. Thank the Lord. That huge ain't you. Maybe I just make the wrong choices sometimes. <laughs> but what kind of videos? <laughs> At least we get a little excitement <laughs> when we happen to make the wrong ones. <sighs> All right, back to semi-civilization here. Okay, uh, let's talk about that a minute. Did I really make a wrong choice or a bad choice there? I really will never know <clears throat> because I don't know what would have happened if I would tried to go back down that old muddy road uh, that I pushed the bicycle up there or <clears throat> some other direction, but... Uh, Sometimes it at least seems that way, and, and maybe it was a bad choice. Uh, just 
Um, time will tell sometimes. Uh, but uh, one point is that, yeah, we make uh, <clears throat> mistakes once in a while. And we may get by, and it don't cost us a whole lot. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it gave me a pretty good jolt when I hit that uh, ditch and had <laughs> water in the bottom of it, <clears throat> of course. Um, but um, other than that, uh, and the bicycle having to be cleaned up and um, lubricated and all that stuff, it's uh, running. I'm not that good at that yet. But... Other than that, uh, everything seemed to be fine. <clears throat> but when you make choices in life, though, sometimes um, you make the wrong choice. It can be devastating. <clears throat> it can be life-changing. And it can be either almost impossible to recover from or maybe impossible to cover completely from. So when we make decisions in this life, I think it's important that we consult the counselor, the one that's offered and asks to be our counselor. Now, that counselor is two, two things. He counsels us in his word, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> and he is our counsel before what would be a court where Satan would try to convict us of uh, to and send us to an eternal hell. So be very careful. It's sometimes good to ask others that are more experienced for uh, advice. And um, it's always right to consult the Word of God and what He has to say. Okay, I'll try to work this one. It's been a long time since I've done it. So one's called... Uh, multiplied. Your love is like a radiant diamonds bursting inside us we cannot contain your love will surely come find us like blazing wildfires singing your name god of mercy sweet love of mine i have surrendered to your design may this offering stretch across the skies these hallelujahs be multiplied your love is like radiant diamonds bursting inside us we cannot contain your love will surely come find us Like blazing wildfires singing your name God of mercy, sweet love of mine I have surrendered to your design May this offering stretch across the skies these hallelujahs.